Welcome back to my EU4 Lübeck campaign. Now in the previous videos we did quite a bit of expanding in the North Germany region. We fully annexed Teutonic Order and vassalized Livonian Order which we are finishing to integrate into our nation. We also got a bunch of other vassals such as Norway and Novgorod, dismantled the HRE, stacked a lot of trade modifiers. Now we are earning 35 ducats from trade alone without even sending out our barks. This would be more like 45 with the barks on. But yeah, a lot has happened and I would recommend you watch the previous episodes if you haven't seen them yet to get a better understanding on how we got to this point. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description. Now, at the end of the previous video, we planned to declare a war on Hamburg, but instead what I decided to do is declare on Denmark. This way I'll be able to call in Hamburg and of course uh, some other nations such as East Frisia, Holland and Bremen will join. We will be able to call in Austria to help us out. And I will take the majority of Danish lands. I will take Hamburg for myself as well. And these guys I will probably white piece as it would be a bit of aggressive expansion to take it without co-belligering them. But before that I want to get some new alliances. I will go ahead and buy indulgence. It's a bit expensive but we are making a lot of money so it doesn't really matter. And it will help us get more papal points which will be helpful to get improve relations and diplo annexation cost bonuses. Now with this done I can ally the Pope. And now I have used all of my Diplo slots, 6 out of 6, but I will finish annexing Livonian Order very soon and I will have another spot. And to speed this up, I can even take Nobility Integration Policy. Now, yeah, Norway is not happy about that, but we can pay off their debt, blockade rulers. And I would like to have one more strong ally, but looking at this list, no strong nation really, really wants to enter this alliance. So I will just ally Switzerland, they're semi-decent, so yeah, let's go with that. And now that we're a bit more secure, let's go ahead and start our war. Declare. I have my troops set up like this, so I can fight each of their armies. And with this stack I will start sieging Danish fort. Everything's going according to plan. Now I also want to get a claim on Magdeburg as they have Goslar and that's the province I need for one of the missions. I don't want to risk them entering the coalition. Our truce will end in two years, so I will have to declare right after. And with the other nations, I want to improve relations. Let's start improving with them. Let's finish one more Pluto idea. This unlocks a stability cost modifier and goods produced. Oh wow, 400 ducats for just a bit of corruption. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And with this money, I'll build some barracks. Age of Discovery bonus number 4, I'll go with Combat bonus and Terrain of Capital. And some Manpower, that's nice. Time to Carpet Siege this area and then send my units to Denmark's capital. You boys can go deal with the Rebels and I'll disband this group. They're quite useless. Right, it's time to peace Holland, all their money and war reps, thank you. I have to change my ruler, he's very nice, especially with the aggressive expansion impact trade, but he's 64. I feel, I feel like there's no point to keep him and lose 10 Republican tradition. I'll just go with a diplomat. Let's go and white piece East Frisia. Taking them would be a lot of aggressive expansion, that is quite unnecessary. And I won't even talk about Bremen, 45 aggressive expansion, no thank you. Oh nice, this guy got improved relations trait, that's sweet. Now Hamburg, we did co-belligerent, so I'm inclined to take him. Yeah, a bit of collision will form, but yeah, I still have to do this. Let's take him out. Let's get a claim on Magdeburg, on Goslar. I'm still not losing hope that I can improve relations and avoid these guys entering the collisions. And I can take the Papal Legate to speed up my annexation. Here we go, it's done. The Vonian order is now ours. Glorious. And we get their troops, 6k units. How about we finish this mission now? The flow of trade, 500 ducats for free. Before piecing out Denmark, I will try to improve relations a little bit more at least, because just by taking 3 provinces, I would have this collision. And that would be quite unbearable. On the other hand, I need to declare on a Magdeburg. Otherwise, yeah, I risk them entering the collision as well. But it's not too bad. This way we can even avoid Mainz and Sweden entering it. Let's go. Let's exchange this trade efficiency guy into improved relations. That would be more useful. The second to last Pluto idea. 
very nice. Minus 5% development cost and caravan power. We sacked Stockholm. Additional 5% army professionalism. I'll use it right away to slack in recruiting. And there's no reason to continue the war with Sweden. I will just end their alliance with Poland. Take a little bit of money. And it will be a pretty short truce with them. Just for 7 years. Let's go. Let's remove the fort in Hamburg. I don't feel like that uh, gives a lot of use in the farmlands. Alright, Mainz is willing to surrender. Let's just cancel their alliances. Yeah, that sounds good. Now with Magdeburg, it's a bit tricky. I want to take all of their provinces. This will be a huge collision. And of course, we still haven't finished our war with Denmark. Well, technically we have, but we're not piecing them out yet. Because of collision as well. So now I'm really thinking what I want to do about that. So how about this? I piece out Magdeburg, take everything from them, and I'll deal with the consequences. I don't want to stay in the war because they have unconditional surrender. This will just keep increasing my war exhaustion. So yeah, let's just try to do this and then keep improving relations. And a bit later, I will piece out Denmark. Seems pretty good. Very expensive to core this. And I will need more cord houses, to be honest, um, at nearly, well, I'm above my gardening capacity already. For now, I'll just spend some reform progress to improve my capacity. I don't think the coalition at this point will fire. We have some good allies, but if I would take the peace deal with Denmark right now, I, I think I would be screwed. I think I would be screwed. Colonialism has spawned, so I'll need to get that a bit later. And with the excess diplo power that I currently have, I will increase my mercantilism by a bit i will need this for the missions for one of the missions i need 40 percent you know what while i'm basically idling in this war with denmark why not declare a quick one on muscovy all these juicy cores are still available for novgorod and i kind of want to take advantage of that let's go hmm, this army has basically no cannons let's actually get some i have some spare force limit good you for real my boy you're just gonna try and siege riga like that come on here we go just 200 days to siege this you shouldn't have come here shouldn't have come here totally destroyed let's go ahead and start sieging moscow yeah so our ruler is 34 and he, he has amazing trait i definitely want to keep him last pl plutocratic idea plus 20 percent manpower recovery speed and we also gain provincial trade modifier 25 percent and burgers loyalty very nice. And we get a policy. I believe this policy wasn't that good. Well, it's one merchant. It's not too bad, but regiment costs, eh, it's mid. For tier 6 government reform, I will go for supremacy of the diet, additional all estates loyalty equilibrium. Oh, it seems Poland and Lithuania are using this opportunity to declare on Muscovy too. Well, in this case, I have to occupy all the provinces that I need. And that is all the Novgorodian cores. Yeah, so at this point, let's end the war with Denmark. I will take a few provinces. Their capital, the trade center, one of the provinces I need for the mission, and some money. And let's send our demands. The collision will not be small, but yeah, we will just eventually try and disband it. Let's send the demands. Thank you. I can even concentrate some development. And let's core it up. Now let's complete the mission pen and sword. If the Holy Roman Emperor has at least a hundred of opinion of us, we will attempt to sway them. No, we don't even have a Emperor. And another mission is completed. Increase the center of trade level in Sealand and some perma claims. Very good. Yeah, I want to declare a war on Bremen. East Frisia already entered the collision since I didn't notice that our truce ended. Uh, yeah, Sweden is joining once more. Let's call in Austria to help us out and declare this. And another white piece with East Persia. It's time to piece out Muscovy. Poland blocked me a little bit. They took Karelia and I cannot take the other course next to Sweden. But that's not a big problem. We can take those in the next war. I'll take this connection to Novgorod. Just so Lithuania doesn't steal it. And I'll give majority of the course back to Novgorod. Let's go. Thank you very much. And I will take this white piece with Sweden. Now I can annex Bremen. There we go. I have a lot of money and I want to build even more courthouses. Definitely need more gardening capacity. Been a while since I seized the lands last time, so let's do that. 35%. I will temporarily need to get this level 3 trade efficiency advisor for to complete one of the missions. 
a new system of trade, the theory of mercantilism happens, and Lubeck gets plus 5 merchant trade power and cost to promote mercantilism minus 10% until the end of the game. Sweet, I accumulated quite a bit of uh, autonomy in my provinces, so let's decrease it. This will spawn tons of rebels, but I'm not participating in any wars for like 4 or 5 more years. So I have all the time to deal with them. Oh, that's super nice. Birth of a new city in Oldenburg. Plus 25 trade power after we choose this option. Amazing. This province alone gives us 72 trading power in this node. Now these rebels are quite far away. Damn, son. Definitely want to get this marketplace in Oldenburg. Additional 14. Well, almost 14 trade power. Oh, interesting. Karelia and Sapmi have been released, so we can take these scores back for Novgorod for free, basically. Reconquest of Kola too. Thanks for the provinces, my boys. I've been silently improving all of my provinces and my trade. Now I can complete the mission Tame the North Sea. Heavy ship cost, global naval engagement modifier, 900 ducats and 5 mercantilism. Definitely will take that. And look how much trade we are now getting. We are earning 90 ducats just from trade. At the beginning of the video it was like 40 ducats or something like that. With this money I can afford a lot more buildings. Let's get some barracks. Truce expired with Sweden. It's now time to declare on them. Let's go. And let's keep improving our ruler. This costs a lot of Republican tradition. But as long as I'm above uh, about 40 I feel like I'm fine. Uh, if I remember correctly, there are some negative events that could happen if you're below 40. Oh god, our new admiral is Gigachad. 5532? No one's winning any battles versus us. Calm down, Sweden, jeez. These guys are annoying. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yep, let's take additional improved relations. Super useful. And we got our capital. Nice. I assaulted, barraged this fort and now we're basically done. 99% war score. From Sweden, I'm just taking a lot of provinces. I don't care about nothing else. I just want to full annex them in a couple of wars. And next war, I should be able to finish them. Let's go. Now at this point, I would also like to have colonialism. So how about we spawn it in Hamburg? Let's improve the coastal center of trade get the development edict developed this a few times then we can upgrade the center of trade once more and let's continue developing this here we go we have colonialism ready and now we can just let it spread might as well get the institution spread edicts nearby seize lands and we are now above 50% crown lands, which means more reform progress growth. So since Gotland is no longer in our trade league, they're now pirating us. I don't enjoy that, so I will declare on them. Poland will join this war. That's completely fine. They will leave the coalition and we can call in Austria to destroy them. Let's go. These guys have a very small navy. Oh, let's try to help out our boy Austria real quick. Don't want them to lose this battle. Poland does have a lot of troops. Yeah, I get wrecked. What do we have here? Level 3 Discipline Guy, 50% cheaper? Let's even upgrade him. It is the age of reformation now. Our golden era will end pretty soon, in just two years. So I'm glad that we attacked Poland right now. It's a bit it's a bit easier with the morale of armies. War with Poland is completed. Just give me war reps and break your alliance with Holland. I'm happy with that. And now I can annex the pesky Gotland. No more raids for you. Oh no, lose one stability. It's been a while since I got such a bad event. And our golden era is over. It was very nice. We did a lot of stuff during it. And here we go. We have colonialism now. Which means I can improve my technologies. Very good. Level 10 Diplo. No longer need the institution edicts. Let's get the protect trade back. That will be much more useful. Oh, that's pretty sweet. 10% discipline for 6 years and plus 1 stability. Oh, come on, Austria, really? My truce with Denmark was about to expire and now they're attacking Holland. And Holland is allied with Denmark. God damn you. I have to accept this. Yeah, so let's just white piece these boys. I can't even break Denmark's alliance with France. This is very useless war for me. Here we go. I did lose a bit of trust with Austria, but... 
I still have 90, so no problem there. Time for some more seizing of lands, 57% of crown lands. And my level 10 military technology is here, which enables better cannons and cavalry, which I don't really have. Level 10 admin technology, and we get a new idea group. To complete this mission, appoint war minister, I will need one of these three ideas. Quality, offensive or quantity. I could have went for it at the second idea group instead of plutocratic. I mean, plutocratic is not too bad, it gives trade bonuses. But I feel like I should have selected one of those ideas back then. And this time I could have selected something like influence. But in this case, I will go with the offensive ideas. As I really like the policy that gives 10% trade efficiency and movement speed combined with trade ideas. I have a lot of Diplo points, so let's invest some in more mercantilism. And since I'm now earning crazy amounts of money from trade, I can start improving or building my monuments. So let's start building one in Dallascoggin. And I kinda wanna start annexing Norway. Yeah, let's do it. The Neapolitan Republican Emissaries lose 100 ducats. Naples spawns 17 Republican regiments. If rebels break Naples, the union between Spain and Naples will be broken. Sure, let's do something like that. I don't believe they will break, but it would be nice. I can support a pretty large army now, so maybe let's get some more units. Might as well annex Riga at this point too, they're just occupying one slot of mine. Our truce with Denmark and Holland is over, so I will be declaring on Denmark. Holland is not joining, okay, but we will have to fight France and East Prussia. And France is actually so close to not joining, but yeah, I can't wait for it. They're at war with Austria, Hungar Hungary, Burgundy, and so on. So I believe it won't be any problem to deal with them. Hopefully I can just quickly eliminate these guys. Let's get a new general. And my generals are just awesome right now. Well, my army tradition is not that insane, but yeah, still getting pretty good with generals. Some units here, some here. And my main army can siege their new capital, Lund. France is getting demolished, I basically don't even need to fight them. I should soon be able to piece them out, but just to make it faster, let's try and siege down maybe one or two forts. Riga has been annexed and is now part of our great nation. Now before Holland gets any alliances, I also want to declare a quick war on them. And it's time to wipe East France. I would like to end East Prussia's alliance with Great Britain, and that's it. And Austria will keep calling me into every single war. Come on, boys. Do you really need me? You're just fighting Gallery, Berg, and Brunswick, and you cannot deal with yourselves? Come on. I'm taking most of Denmark in this war. They're left with just three provinces. And actually, let's also break their alliance with France. Why not? Oh, this is bugged. It keeps selecting the wrong amount of money for some reason. There we go. Let's take the Papal Legate for faster annexation once more. And the remaining points I'll try to invest in becoming the Courier Controller. I definitely have to declare on Sweden as well. Otherwise they will re-enter the coalition. Let's call in Austria and let's fight them. And I don't want to peace out Holland just yet as I would be above 100% overextension. Oh get out of here boy. You don't want to mess with me. He's so persistent. For tier 7 government reform, I'll go for additional governing capacity, I really need it. This guy just doesn't let me get his fort peacefully. Just let me do it peacefully, boy. And the fort itself is pain in the ass as well. 64% and doesn't fall. 78, Jesus, finally got it. Alright, it's now time to peace out Holland for sure. This collision will never end anyways until we somehow demolish these nations or even declare on the whole collision. So I'll take all of their provinces. There's no need to be shy about this. And I won't even... Yeah, I will reduce my work exhaustion a bit. I won't even concentrate development. As I don't need that much more development to become a empire. Do you like the taste of steel, Poland? I won't ask much from Poland. Just finish your alliances with Sweden, Saxony. Give me warps and 40 ducats. That's it. Very nice. I, l I really need this manpower. I cannot full annex Sweden, but I can take most of their provinces. There we go. And almost whole Scandinavia is ours. We just have few da Danish provinces and a couple Swedish provinces left. Now let's upgrade our centers of trade where we can. Even Riga 1 is level 1. Yep, that's a very nice upgrade. 
Level 11 military. Now we're back on track. Oh, that's nice. 50% off advisor. Let's go with the trade efficiency one. Get him right away. Upgrade him. Level 4 only 10 decades. And plus 1 stab. Beautiful. Oh, that's very useful. Great project upgrade cost minus 25% for 500 ducats. We will be able to upgrade Dallas Coggin Monument Copper Mine pretty cheaply now. And I have finished the annexation of Norway. Our name placement is huge now. Good, so let's continue upgrading the Monument Copper Mine. I will invest some manpower. So I don't want to keep this guy on my throne. He has minus improved relations. Let's switch him to another admin power guy and let's get the back traders to rule our nation yeah construction cost reduction is much nicer truce with denmark is over let's quickly take him out france will join this war i will call in austria and let's also yeah let's call in switzerland and papal state why not for a quicker war i didn't really want to participate in this war i'm currently improving all of my provinces because i still haven't done the mission then to the towns i should have done this ages ago but i kept conquering more and more provinces and they yeah they had some devastation some unrest and i could never catch the moment to actually complete this mission but now i'm slowly doing it i only need some of the provinces here improved a bit more and some of them still have some devastation so at least i won't be taking too many more new provinces from denmark and soon from sweden yeah salzburg can go to Austria, I'm fine with that. And white peace with France sounds about right. Good, at this point let's just finish the war, the war exhaustion is getting too high. I tried to complete the mission to improve my provinces before the end of the war, but the war exhaustion, yeah, is getting unbearable. And let's consolidate the last lands in Scandinavia. It's done. Now the only thing left for me to do is to improve all the provinces to and development and reduce their devastation and unrest um how about no scotland i really don't want to participate in that i don't care that much about great britain anymore good i finished the manufactory in the Laskogin. now let's upgrade it to the max monument sacrifice some manpower why not and the monument should be finished yep we now have additional one Good, goods produced from the manufacturer and nine from the monument now i just need to finish the remaining provinces for the tier 8 reform let's go for trade steering it took me way longer than expected but i i have finally completed the mission 10 to the towns if i wouldn't have continued expanding in every direction i could have completed this of course years and years ago but at least we now have it there we go and there's only one more left for me to complete to spawn gold and that is develop the mineral trade i need ruler with administrative skill of six so it will take a couple of elections for me to do that but now i can pretty much ask anyone to steer trade towards me sure let's just invite everyone even papal state even though they're across the map good i have finally managed to get my prestige above so i can now upgrade my gurning crank awesome let's upgrade our boy to level 5 admin so now i should be able to upgrade my ruler i just need to get two more mercantilism just like that yeah mission unlocked guild wards and our ruler gains one admin and one diplo which means i have unlocked the mission develop the mineral trade and now it really depends if this will work or not i am not sure i can move my capital to dallas Hogan yeah right yes so it does work so now gold will be produced in dallas Coggin instead of lubeck and this has plus 10 goods produced modifier so let's check how much money this will be producing right now it's producing from production 10 ducats let's see how this changes boom and now it produces 50 and it's only level 9 production so now my advisor is level 5 I wonder how much I will be able to improve the total amount by just spending 42 Diplo on this province. So I have saved up quite a few Diplo points and I want to check out how this will affect my gains if I develop this province. 
let's develop it once it now produces 56.60 total income and just by one development it increases with one ducat basically i'm basically done with the mission tree well except the north america part i don't have a quest for the new world but i can also do that if i retrieve one of my idea groups right now i just need 25 heavy ships how many currently do i have i have like one so let's build many of those 24 here we go now if i take papal legate i should be close to annexing novgorod yep very close and i have annexed these boys sweet i'm basically done with my expansion and annexations just want to finish the mission tree at this point and i now have 25 heavy ships which means i can complete the mission eagle of lubeck flagship cannons flagship durability fleet hunt pirates efficiency and 25 navy tradition and now the last thing i need to do is boost my mercantilism the last few times here we go 75 and we can complete this last mission queen of the hansa 60 admin power 190 diplo 150 military based on the development of our capital and the event crowning of the new queen happens we will gain a boost to our diplomatic relations to cover part of the cost of maintaining our new vassals here we go now we can get some admin diplo and military and three mercantilism or change our name to hanseatic league and gain new traditions and ambitions which we will do yes please the hanseatic league is ours and we can anytime change this name back by clicking restore our name and now what about the ideas 20 percent trade efficiency plus one merchant after we complete all of them plus 20 percent trade steering global trade power ship cost ship trade power discipline heavy ship combat ability development cost goods produce modifier idea cost minus 10 percent provincial trade power modifier plus 20 percent so overall insane trade ideas let's go and even embrace more cultures why not and all right this is where i will finish the campaign we're earning 70 gold ducats 177 ducats from trade alone i didn't even expand that much after the 1500s i basically was just completing the missions that i didn't manage to complete before that and if i would have decided to continue this run even longer i would probably have played a bit different i would not have annexed norway as they can colonize the new world regarding the ideas instead of pluto ideas i would have gotten offensive or quality second as then i could have completed the mission appoint war minister and got one of these perma bonuses and basically to complete the mission tend to the towns and develop the mineral trade much faster i would just have not annexed any of my vassals because after i did so and after i continued expanding in all the directions i had to develop all of my new provinces to 10 which took a very long time so if you plan to play lubeck and you want to form a hanseatic league make lots of money from gold and trade I would recommend you do these missions first before annexing your vassals and expanding too much so focus on these tend to the towns and develop the mineral trade and after you complete those you will gain just insane amounts of money from gold there will be basically no issues for any further conquests overall this was a very fun campaign it was very different than usual well at least the mission tree is offers you so much different aspects and just different approach to the game as you're basically focusing on your trade and naval superiority the whole campaign now if you look at the great powers of the world list we're only at the second place because we did not colonize if we would have started coloni colonizing we could have definitely easily become the first in the world and what i also didn't do is i didn't capitalize on my province in england i released scotland but i never declared on great britain so of course there are many ways how i could have improved this campaign and did this much earlier but overall i think it was quite a successful campaign so i hope you enjoyed it this is where i will end the video if you liked it please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i will see you in the next video see you soon